Welcome to Educational World. In today's video lesson, we'll be looking at a typical practical question on electricity that has to do with the potentiometer. Now, this question has repeated several times in Wayek Practical Questions 2014 and in 2009. Before we proceed, I would like you to like, subscribe, and share to your friends and encourage my work. Now I read the instructions. You are provided with a potentiometer AB, a 10 ohm standard resistor R, a battery of EMF 4.5 volts, a jockey J, and other necessary materials. Connect a circuit as shown in the diagram above. Close the key K without making contact with AB. Read and record the ammeter reading I. Open the key. Use the jockey to make contact with AB at the 20 cm mark such that AJ is equal to X and is equal to 20 cm. Close the key, read and record the ammeter reading I. Evaluate for the inverse of x. Repeat the procedure for values of x which are 35, 45, 60 and 80 centimeters respectively. Tabulate your readings. Plot a graph with inverse of x on the vertical axis and i on the horizontal axis starting both axis from the origin. Determine the slope s of the graph. From your graph, determine the value I subscript O of the current for which the inverse of X is equal to zero and evaluate From what our peers have gotten, okay, or we can perform it ourselves. And the ammeter reading, let's assume it to be 1.14 ampere. Now we have to observe something. We observe that the current has increased. Why? This is because the wire of length S, which is equal to 20 centimeter of the potentiometer, is acting as a resistor. And we need to calculate the value of that resistance. The resistance of the wire of length S, which is equal to 20 centimeters, and the standard resistor, that's a 10 ohm, are now outing as resistors in parallel. To calculate the resistance of the potentiometer wire of length 20 centimeter, we will be using this formula. E is equal to current, open bracket, 
r plus small r e is emf i is the current in the circuit r is the combined resistance which is the parallel arrangement and r is internal resistance so now e is equals to 4.5 volts which we know i is 1.14 ampere and the internal resistance is 2.5 ohms so we put in these values into the equation and we have that 4.5 is equal to 1.14 open bracket big r plus 2.5 so simplifying and solving for the total resistance so r is equal to 1.45 ohms so this is the value for the combined parallel arrangement now to calculate the resistance of the potentiometer wire of length s equal to 20 cm we use the formula 1 over r is equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 now this is the formula for power arrangement of resistors so r is the combined resistance r1 is the standard resistor of 10 ohm and r2 is the resistance of the potentiometer wire so we now put it into the formula we now have that 1 over 4.5 is equal to 1 over 10 plus 1 over r2 solving for r Inverse of S is equal to 0.029 per centimeter and the current or the ammeter reading is 0.937. So when X is equal to 45 centimeters, repeating the same procedure used when S is equal to 35 centimeters, we know that the resistance of a wire is proportional to its length. So we now say that if when X is 20 cm, the wire has a resistance of 1.7 ohm, then what would the resistance be when the length is 45 centimeters? So using that relationship, L1 over L2 is equal to R1 over R2. I'm substituting the values where necessary. We evaluate R2 to be 
3.8 ohms that means that the resistance of the length of wire at 45 cm is 3.8 ohms remember that the potentiometer wire and the standard resistor are in parallel okay so solving the equivalent resistance for two resistors in parallel okay gives us that the total equivalent resistance of the two resistors is equal to 2.75 ohms now we have to go ahead and calculate the ammeter reading and to do so we use the formula e is equal to i open bracket total resistance plus this internal resistance and putting the values where necessary we will now evaluate for a current so we have that 4.5 is equal to current open bracket 5.25 now simplifying for the current we now have the current is equal to 0 0.857 amperes computing our table of values we have that when x is equal to 45 cm the inverse of s is equal to 0 0.022 per centimeter and current is equal to 0 0.8 5.7 Ampere Now we go ahead to when X is equal to 60 cm Now we have to repeat the same procedures again and again Okay, and we have to now have to find the resistance of the wire when Its length is equal to 60 centimeters and to do that we also follow that the same ratio procedure Okay which leaves which is L1 over L2 is equal to R1 over R2 and substituting the values where necessary okay you will be left that R2 that is the new resistance of wire when it is 20, when it is 60 cm is now 5.1 ohm like I said the standard resistor and the potentiometer wire they are acting as resistors in parallel so we now have to find the equivalent resistance of those two resistors and when we do so it is equal to 3.37 ohm now with that now we have to go ahead to calculate the ammeter reading using the same formula as you can see there 4.5 now is equal to current open bracket 3.3 .3 ohm plus 2.5 ohm and simplifying for the current now leaves us that current is equal to 0 0.766 amperes now we go straight to computing our table of values we now have that when x is equal to 60 cm inverse of s is equal to 0 0.016 per centimeter and the current is 0 0.766 amperes the same thing happens when x is equal to 80 centimeters repeating what we are doing so far so we have that L1 over L2 is equal to R1 over R2 putting the values of these where necessary 20 over 80 is equal to 1.7 over R2 and simplifying for R2 R2 is now equal to 6.8 ohm now we remember we recall that the potentiometer wire and the standard resistors they are acting as resistors in parallel so we calculate the equivalent resistance of the two systems we now have that total resistance is now equal to 4.05 ohm now we've gotten that so we move ahead to calculate it for the ammeter reading and when we do that with the formula e is equal to i open bracket r total plus internal resistance and substituting the values where necessary will be left with that current or the ammeter reading now is equal to 0 0.687 amperes we move ahead to computing our table of values 
so we now say that when x is equal to 80 centimeters the inverse of x is equal to 0.013 per centimeter and the current is 0.687 amperes now we go to our graph plotting this is a graph of the inverse of x against current so we can see our table of values they have uniform number of decimal places okay you can see that each axis have their units they are placed to solve for the slope of the graph it is change in the vertical axis all over corresponding change in the horizontal axis so taking two points in our vertical axis which are 0 0.05 minus 0 0.022 divided by the corresponding change in the horizontal axis which are 1.14 minus 0.857 the slope will be 0 0.10 per centimeter per ampere now we can see that my graph here did not start from the origin so i cannot actually get the value of i subscript o that is the value of the current when the x inverse is zero but through calculation i have been able to find that found out that and it is equal to 0 0.63 ampere okay so and the current from the our first reading the current is 0 0.36 ampere if you go back initially the first current we measured when the jockey was not touching the potentiometer wire and simplifying that ratio io over i is equal to 1.75 remember no units don't forget to like share and subscribe